the next topic looping looping are used in programming to repeat a specific block of code there are four there are two types in loop for while and we are using for with else while with else first we will see the for loop the for loop in python is used to iterate over a sequence for list to tuple string or another objects iteration over a sequence is called a transversal now we will work on with for loop for number number equal to within square brackets enter some values then sum equal to initial value 0 then using a loop for value in number semicolon then sum equal to sum plus sum plus value print of within double quotes the sum is comma sum run the program after saving the program enter a number enter cost cost is a error what type of error integer object is not iterable again same error where is the average value for if lf enter a number it's not for looping it's for nested if statement it will display as error because we have entered a six num entered a number six six is a positive number but it is not a floating float value so it uh, displays an error type error integer okay now We'll open a new file. Just open a new file. Paste the looping code in this file. Now save the file before run. 
the file must be saved. Save the file with the .py extension. Sample program. Okay, now run the code. Unexpected indentation error. There is uh, more than two white or uh, one white spaces before the variable, so it causes an indentation error. Same unexpected indent before sum. There is no more white spaces before the variable. Same mistakes for our no save and execute the code. Unexpected indent. Number is not defined. We have given us num and here we have given us a number. Just erase a or b or now save and run the code. Adding uh, the first value to the next value and uh, the getting results from that both value. We are going to add next value. Likewise, we are going to add for uh, next next values. This is the process uh, which is uh, running behind loop for. Okay, the program executed successfully. The sum first, the sum is one, and the one, uh, one is uh, going to the next value and adding that value one plus two three, then uh, three plus three it, uh, came as six, three plus four came as uh, six plus four came as ten, ten plus five came as fifteen. 15 plus 6 came as 21, 21 plus 7 came as uh, 28, 28 plus 8 came as 36 and finally 36 plus 9 is, uh, is a sum of 45. Now we will move on to the next topic, next for else statement. A for else statement can also have an optional else block. The else block is executed if the item in the sequence used in for loop exhaust break can use it, uh, break can be used to stop for loop in such cases else part is ignored uh, looping in uh, for else runs only if no break occurs okay we'll run now with for else For else, for with else statement, digits equal to within square brackets enter the value for i in digits semicolon print. I else print out within double quotes no more values just save and run the code in condition now all the values within that square brackets are displayed in the output and the ending value no more values all the values are entered One four eight two nine three. So the ending result print of no more values, no more values are left. For that the ending statement printed.
next we we'll move on to the next topic while loop the while loop in python is used to iterate over a block of code as long as a text expression while uh, until the condition is true the while loop will execute we'll work on with while loop number n equal to 10 sum equal to 0 i equal to 1 y i less than or equal to n semicolon sum equal to sum plus i then i equal to i plus 1 I equal to I plus one then print print of within double quotes the sum The sum is comma sum. Sorry, I have given both the conditions. Same condition twice. Just erasing the condition. Now print the sum is comma sum. Now save and run the program. The sum is 25 because it is adding the value within that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus until plus 10 10 and 9 plus 1 10 8 plus 2 10 7 plus 3 10 uh, 6 plus 4 10 we are, we are getting 4 tens and one another 10 50 then remaining 5 55 so totally the sum is 55 this is a process behind while loop now we will move on to the next topic while loop with else same as with for while, while loop can also have an optional else block, else block. The else part is executed if the condition in the while loop evaluates to false. The while loop can be determined with a break statement. In such cases, if not a break statement, we can use while else. Okay, now we will execute the code while loop with else count equal to 0 while counter less than s colon then print counter equal to counter plus 1 else semicolon print of double quotes else okay, now save and run the program invalid oh, sorry counter plus 1 name s is not sorry counter less than s counter less than 8 now oh, execute the source code now it's executed the reason why it's uh, printed 8 times is uh, we are because we are giving counter less than 8 so the code uh, executes for 8 times uh, from 0 0 to 8 if we give counter equal to 10 only the else part will be 
executed because we are giving 8 and assuming value as 10 uh, 8 is lesser than uh, 10 so the program will not execute the else part will be run The basic pro programs for Python is now completed.